Mansa Seva is a matter of the quality of your stage. Therefore, if you want to spread vibrations of peace, first you yourself have to be in that stage. Greater attention is needed on our stage. We should be able to emerge whatever stage we want in a second. Not that we first think about it. Emerge points of knowledge, churn, and so on. The key to this is to keep yourself connected. It's something to be practiced throughout the day. Baba has already told us as we near the end of the cycle, people are not going to have time to listen to this knowledge. Thus, our service has to be more and more through the mind. Mansa Seva means to give out a current of peace, power, and happiness to all souls. It's a donation which can be done any time while walking, moving, even drinking a glass of water. At any moment of the day, when your mind is not particularly engaged in something else, you can give out this kind of current. Mansa Seva does not involve concentration. Concentration is another matter entirely. Mansa Seva is the result of becoming the embodiment. For example, if you have to give someone money, you won't be able to if you yourself don't have any. First, you need to be sure that you have what to give. In the same way, if you want to give out power, you will only be able to do so if you yourself have those vibrations. Your stage belongs to you. If you can't automatically remain in the stage of your choice, you cannot do Mansa Seva. For Mansa Seva, your motives need to be very clean. There can be no thoughts other than those that would benefit another. It cannot be used to fulfill a desire for the self. Mansa Seva requires that our thoughts and feelings come into the highest order, unlimited and altruistic. Whatever is unlimited comes into the subject of Mansa Seva. When we put such thoughts in front of Baba, he fulfills them.